Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy me Kelly here and today video is gonna be about me letting you guys know what you need to do to complete Carl's Grand Quest. This Grand Quest is very, very, very easy. And what you're gonna need for this is basically the swaths that I got right here. If you got these swaths uh, swaths similar like this, you should be good, you should be okay. You could be all this, uh, I brought a, um, what was that, a fever for a friend? Yeah. I'm just going to start it up and let's, so I can show you guys what you need to do and how you need to do it and how many times you got to redo this mission to beat this mission. So, I had messed up earlier. I had brought some freaking caressing dudes and I really wasn't supposed to bring those. Post a broad revive. Anyway, this this glitch right here, so I'm pretty good right now. Hopefully, it didn't take my energy. But I uh, know nope, wrong one. What you need to do is land the final blow on Graham. That's the main thing. But first, we're gonna start from the bottom. You gotta go to both treasures on the map. So treasures, you know, you should know where treasure over there, muddy swamps. Treasure, where's the other one? It's some okay up there, rolling cliff, cliff. So the next thing you need to do is go to um. Oh, that's rolling cliff, Richard. Okay, both they got two treasures up there, so you should be good. And then you gotta beat the great foe up there, rolling cliff. So that's three things done right there. If you can get your SWAT there, and then if you get your SWAT on the other side where you get the other treasure, then you should be good. Then it depends. You, I'm pretty sure you gotta play this one. Two, three, uh, four. I say about four to six times to beat this because you gotta beat Graham with Sierra, then you gotta beat Graham by yourself, then you gotta be. I think you gotta. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You gotta, yeah, you do. You gotta beat Graham with Sierra and Carl. I'm tripping. Then after that, you gotta, um, uh, Carl gonna grow more aware. That means like you just, you know finish like all of that stuff and then you get to the next level and then Carl he'll start talking about like how his childhood and all that stuff and then after that you're gonna be like um up there where it's a beast coast then you go to uh sunset cave and then you defeat Grahams so the thing about Grahams every 10 turns he will do a massive AOE attack, killing one of your units anyway. So no mitigation, no garden is really going to help out. He's going to kill that unit unless you got an angel buff. And I think he debuffs angel buffs too. So be kind of a waste. So you really got to be careful with that guy. And whenever you get his health all the way down, he will. I forgot which move he's going to do, but he does a massive AOE attack and leave your units with one with one uh, health, like you just say one for HP, and uh, the the best units to bring, the best unit to bring during that situation would be Diana. I don't know, yeah, there she is, Diana, and I use her ultimate brave burst when I got towards the end. So you know it lasts. The ultimate brave burst lasts for three turns. So whenever you get to the end, and then you you know knock his health all the way down. To where it says zero, then he gonna do the massive AOE attacks. And while he doing the massive AOE attacks, he gonna knock all your units down health, your units health all the way down to zero. But all your BB gauge is gonna be full because of Diana's uh, ultimate bread burst. Because when you get attacked, it just massively fills up the BB gauge, so you automatically be filled. And then if you got the same spot as me, Iris come back with the heal just in case. Then you destroy him like that at the end. That's the last one, but like whenever you gotta uh, go against him, I think it's like the first or second time, one of those times or whatever, after you complete the um, the little quest, when you go against him, I think it's the second time. You got to kill Graham whenever, um, whenever he do the little thing, you gotta kill him in one or two turns. I think it's two, but I, I'm pretty sure it's one. I killed him in one. So right after he do the thing, your BB gauge fill up, you kill him in that one turn. Cause if you do not, he would keep doing it over and over. He keep getting this Avenger buffs over and over and over. And it'd be like Maxwell loop at the end. It gets so freaking annoying. And I got stuck in that. And I have to redo this whole trial. I'm not trial, but Grand Quest over and over and over again. So yeah. 
If I was you, make sure you bring the right items. Okay, dang, I ain't got mines, but make sure you have, um, let's see if they can show my items. Nope. Make sure you have, like, two revives, then another revive, and then something to heal your units, and then Fuji Potion, Fuji Potions. Then you should be good. Not Fuji Potions and Fuji Tonics. There we go. Then you should be very, very good. Whenever you get up there, you can destroy him or whatever. Just in case, bring the Fuji Tonics, just in case, because whenever you get his health to the end, you can... You know, give all five of your units your SBBs and then they destroy them like that. But the real recommendation units, if you can get like a SWAT like this, like the first SWAT I got, you're in good hands. Because if you can bring yourself halfway down, then you're good. The second SWAT I used, it was just for like not really distraction, but like to bring yourself down to the 30 mark, 30% mark. And then the last SWAT I used them to go ahead and finish this kid off. But this is the SWAT right here. But I think. Whenever, yeah, whenever you get the Sunset Cape, uh, Grodden's, I'm not, yeah, not Grodden's, uh, Carl Seven Six Star Form comes into play, and when he's up there, you go ahead, uh, you don't have no other team with you, your items, all your items are gonna be, like, you know how you use them, so, you gotta be careful, your items don't reset, so, but when you get up there, I think the first is, like, no, 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 that's somebody else, but, uh, anyway, hopefully this helps you out pretty much, and I'm gonna try to come back and do it like a Graham's retrial video, like, you know, retry them or whatever, and record and do commentaries over it, and how, you know, which attacks and stuff he doing, and all that good stuff, hopefully you guys enjoy that too, but this is your boy, Mika, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff, and please... Shout me out. I really would appreciate that. I want to make sure my videos get out there. I'm going to start editing my videos, making more and better good content. And hopefully that will go ahead and start me on my YouTube career. So, catch you guys later. It's your boy McKelly, and I'm out.